Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. We're back with some more middle school math, this time with math drills, the mean, median, mode, and range worksheet A. So this is by Math Drills, great website, check it out in the description below. But this is talking about a statistics concept, mean, median, mode, and the range. Okay, so this is like an introduction for all those that are seeing it for the first time. So what is it, mean? Now we're not talking about someone being angry or, or mean in terms of the demeanor we're talking about the average that's what mean is talking about how do you calculate the average of something so if we have two numbers five and seven we know that the middle of that number the average is going to be six but we can calculate it i'm going to change my color real fast we can calculate it by adding those two numbers five and seven and then dividing by the number of terms so this is the number of terms and then we arrive at our answer of 6. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. So we knew that by just kind of saying, okay, what's in the middle between 5 and 7? So clearly it's 6. And that is mean. Mean is essentially the average. Median is the middle. So when th think of median, think of the middle. So if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, very creative data set. After ordering, very important step there, it's going to be the middle number, okay? The middle number. Now, it gets a little more tricky when you have something like an even number set, and I'll probably get to that in another video, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to find the average of those two middle numbers, and that will be your median, but don't worry about it for this worksheet. Mode is the most frequent. I always had a teacher who said, this starts with MO and this starts with MO. Mode most frequent. Okay, so that's a way to remember it. But clearly, if we're looking at this data set, these four pieces of data, one, two, three, four, the most frequent one is three. Three appears two times versus all the other ones. And the range. The range is the possible values in the series. Okay, so that means you're taking your maximum value minus your minimum. The maximum value, think, is your big one, and this minimum is your smallest. Okay, so actually I should write biggest. The superlative of big, of course. So then we have 1, 3, 5, 10, and 21. This would be our min, the smallest. This would be our max, the biggest. And to find our range, it would be 20. So that 20, it spans the whole data. So 20 different data points. Well, not specific data points, but the values increase by 20 over the series of the data um, from the mat, the maximum to the minimum. Okay, so let's go ahead and take on a few of these examples. These should be pretty easy in terms of calculating them, but we're going to go ahead and just keep in mind that we need to calculate the mean, the median. Okay, I'm going to write all four of these down for each one of these. Okay, and put colons there. Just stay organized. Half of math is just staying organized. Okay, median. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that's not the first one. Mean is the first one. So the mean is we are going to add all five of these up. Okay, so we're going to add two plus five plus five plus two plus three, the entire data series. And we don't divide by two. It was only divided by two when there was two data points. Okay, the number of terms. Okay, data points. In this case, there are five data points. One, two, three, four, five. As you look at my sing-along. This looks like one of those sing-along things, you know, when you see those movies with the sing-along little um, pointer. But in this case, there are five, as I demonstrated, different data points, okay? So five different data points, one, two, three, four, five. So we add up all the terms, two plus five plus um, five, that's 12, plus two more is 14. That's going to be 17. So really, we need to do 17 over five. This is where it's kind of useful to have uh, a calculator in tow. So I'm just going to do 17 divided by 5 on my calculator and I get 3.4. So the average, the mean is 3.4 here. And let's change colors again. So 3.4. And I want to copy this. This is a program called Notability. I'm not sponsored by them yet, but hopefully they're going to be taking notes soon enough. So copy. All right. So 3.4, that was my mean. Now look at my median. My temptation would be like, oh, my median's five, but it's not ranked. You have to rank it first. What does that mean? I have put it in order. So I need to put two, cross it off, two, cross it off. Three is the next biggest. Five is the next biggest and five is the next biggest. Okay. So as I'm looking at these, three is the middle one. Okay. And a way to figure out which one is the middle is you cross off two at the same time. So you can go left to right, left to right, 
and then this one's left over. So my median is three. Okay, I'm kind of annoyed that it's not the same color. Three is my medium. Mode, that's the one that's the most frequent. Let me erase my space here. The most frequent, which one occurs the most? In this case, we have two. Both two and five occur the most, so we're gonna write both those down. So two occurs the most, and five. So this one has two modes. And then our range, that means our biggest. So range is the biggest, the max. In this case, it's five, five is the biggest, minus the smallest, and two is the smallest. So our range is three. Okay, so this is a good representation of what our data looks like. As you can see, the middle, the central part of the data is around three. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting fact about our data. Let's move on to number two. This one's kind of interesting. Okay, again, I had this copied. Take a look at that. Boom, all of them ready to go. Told you it was cool. Okay, so mean, we're going to add all these up. Okay, let me get my sing along pointer. One, two, three, four, five. Add these all up. Five plus five plus five plus five plus six. And I divide by how many? By the number of terms. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if there was only four terms, let's say, check this out. This is pretty cool. You can get some white out and make this guy disappear. Let's say it was only these fives. Well, you just do five plus five plus five plus five divided by four because there's only four terms. Okay, that's not the case here. So we're gonna go back to what it was, which was five terms. So I know that five plus itself, four times is 20, plus six is 26, and we're gonna divide that by four. Luckily, I have a calculator handy. I'm gonna do 26 divided by five, and that gives me 5.2. So I know my mean is 5.2, that's my average. My median, they need to be ranked first, and lo and behold, look, they are ranked, and five is the middle number, okay? We can cross off, cross off, left, left, right, and we're left with five in the middle, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate that one more time just so you, so we cross off the left and then the right, start on the ends, work your way in, okay? Start on the ends, work your way in, left and right, and then this is the middle, okay? That's just a strategy for finding the middle. And then a mode, the most frequent, clearly five, that happens four times, and then the range is the max minus the min. Max is six, the min is five, and the range is one. That means the data is really close to, uh, together. So if they have a small range, that means the data is really close together. Let's do a couple more. All of them are the same, which is good. This is great practice if you are starting to learn this for the first time, but if you're starting to get it, yeah, I understand. Okay, so first thing here, we have nine. I'm doing number four, skip to it, obviously. We have nine, eight, seven, four, ten. Mean. We need to add up all these together. Plus nine, plus eight. I don't know why I started with the ten. I just did. Sorry about that. If you know what, just to make you feel better. There you go. And then I divide by five. There's five data points. Nine plus eight is seventeen. Plus seven is twenty-four. Plus four is twenty-eight. And then we have thirty-eight. So we have thirty-eight divided by five. That's what that fraction means. Thirty-eight divided by five. So 38 divided by 5, and that equals 7.6. So our mean is 7.6. Our median, we need to put these in order. So we have 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Look at the middle one. So this is kind of obvious to me because left, right, left, right, left over with the 8. The 8 is the median. The mode, the most frequent, there is none that's the most frequent. So we're going to say there is no mode, none. Okay, there's none, none that stick out. And then the range, the max minus the min. So the max is 10, the min is four and six. Okay, let's just do one more for fun. Hopefully you guys get it by now. I'm trying to see if there's any that stick out. There really isn't. They're very similar and that's kind of a good thing. Let's jump down here to number 11. Okay, this one just spoke to me. So we have seven, four, seven, three, five, the median. We're gonna add up seven plus four plus seven plus three plus five. 107 plus three is 10. So I have 10 there. Seven plus four is 11. And then I have five. So that's 21, 26. So 26 divided by the number of terms, five. So 26 divided by five, I think it is 5.2. It is. How about that? 5.2. The median. We need to rank these in order. 3, 4, 5, 7, 7. Left, right, left, right. Left over is the median. And then the mode, most frequent. 7 occurs twice. The mode is 7. And then the maximum is 7. The minimum is 3. And that equals 4. And that is the range of data. So here's your four answers there. Hopefully this is sufficient. If you need more help, leave a comment. 
below and I'll help you with whatever you need. If you need more examples done, um, if you want more math drill videos done, let me know. I can make more of those for you. But anyway, I really appreciate you watching and make sure to check out more videos right here on West Explains Best.